Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're reviewing the final episode of WandaVision and looking back at the series as a whole from Disney+. Plus. So for me, I personally found the finale to be slightly disappointing, to be honest with you. I thought it was far too safe. There wasn't any big oh shit moment. There was no big revelation, any shocks or any surprises. A lot of it was just big CGI fights and a lot of things being rushed and not properly explained. And I think the reason it came to that was because the pacing of the show has been very questionable, to say the least. The opening episodes offered nothing at all. We had big reveals in the middle. It was just going everywhere and mental. Then it just sort of quietened down again. Then the penultimate episode is a massive exposition dump to just tell you, fill in all the blanks. The pacing of this show from start to finish has been all over the place. And I think it caused a huge problem for the finale here. There just wasn't enough time to wrap everything up. Simple as that. They couldn't give you the big oh shit moment because, well, they hadn't put it in prior and to drop it on you wouldn't have made sense. They had to work with what they got and what they got actually wasn't a lot because they wasted their own time as well as yours with stuff like Paul Bettany singing Old MacDonald Had a Farm and performing magic shows. You could have done something with that time, but you chose not to. So the finale ultimately boils down to a big fight between Vision and Vision, or Vision and White Vision, and Wanda and Agatha. And it's a little bit disappointing. I thought the fight between the two Visions was, at least it had personality and character. Moments like where they stop and talk in the library about, well, if, you know, if you're part of me and I'm part of that and this, then who's the real Vision here? And it was the way they discussed it and the tone of voice. It was a very vision moment. You can imagine vision doing that. It didn't feel out of character at all. But White Vision gets this revelation that basically he's been lied to. And he just says, I am the vision. And then he just shoots off. We don't know where to. We don't know why. We don't know what's going to happen there. No answers whatsoever. And I thought that was really convenient and really disappointing as well. I thought I saw some theories that he was going to have the voice of Ultron, which in my head makes sense. He would have the voice of Ultron, but he doesn't. He's just the voice of Paul Bettany, but just less emotional. I don't know why, because he is from, like Vision is a part of Ultron and was removed. So mm, I'm not sure. I'm not really, I didn't really get how that worked, but neither here nor there. It just seemed disappointing to not give you, that could have been an oh shit moment. Like, and like I say, because the character just swans off, it's not even that con like it's not a problem for other products for them to have done that. I, I think they missed the trick there. And the fight between Agatha and Wanda, it's it's like a real life Dragon Ball Z fight. They're just sort of sha, sha, just throwing beams at each other, and it just didn't look great. It didn't translate to the screen, is the way I'd describe it. Because it's a lot of money clearly went into it. It's not atrocious. You've definitely seen worse. It's not Superman four flying in the same pose. They tried. They genuinely tried. It just doesn't translate to the screen. I, I imagine on script and paper, it probably sounded excellent, but it just didn't work for me. I wondered if anybody could actually explain to me what the kids actually were. Were they a manifestation of her mind? Did she actually give birth to them? Again, it's just another thing that was just sort of wrapped up. We don't have time to deal with this. Same as the Pietro character. So he turns out that his name's actually just Ralph Boner. Yep. And he just so happens to look identical to Evan Peters, who is in this franchise because X-Men is now belonging to Disney, who make this. So is he going to continue to be Quicksilver if they ever do something with that X-Men property? Or is he now ri literally written out of that because he is Ralph Boner? He can't be Quicksilver. He's Ralph Boner. I don't know. Weird writing, bad writing, actually. I'll go as far as to say that is, that is bad writing. There's a missed opportunity there. Or just don't cast Evan Peters at all. You're literally putting yourself into that problem yourselves. No need to. You could have just got the original, the Aaron Taylor Johnson. I, maybe he was busy. I don't know. Just doesn't make sense to me. She also, there's a moment where Wanda, like, wants to stop the people from suffering. So she, like, opens the hex, seriously weakens her children, weakens the vision, and she's like, get out, get out. 
as far as I was aware, nobody got out because these people live there. And when we come to the end of the episode, they're all still there. So that was stupid. Didn't make a lot of sense. I, did I miss something? Uh, to me, it just seemed really unnecessary. She just opened the doors for people and nobody left. I personally, I just thought, what? That's a bit weird. And even weirder yet. When she defeats Agatha, she turns Agatha back to Agnes, the TV show character version of herself. Which makes me now wonder, so when Agnes arrived at the beginning, she seemed to be in on everything. But was she? Because apparently she turned into Agnes, rather than, you know, put it on as a front. And yet, when she comes to later reveal herself to be Agatha, not Agnes, it suggests that she was aware of who she was. Now she's not? Dunno. I smell bullshit. And then on top of that, now that she's turned her into Agnes, and then closed the hex, surely she's back to being Agatha again, because there's no hex, so there's no need for her to be a TV character. Huh? I don't know. I think that's a bit dodgy, mate. And as we come to the end of the episode, we kiss goodbye to the kids. We know we're not going to see them again because the whole thing's ending. Um, she says goodbye to Vision again, and it's very reminiscent to the last time, and it has no emotional impact because we've already been there. We've already seen it, and it was much more at stake when we saw it the first time. So, I don't know, I just thought that failed to just say goodbye to Vision again for the second time. Actually, technically the third time, because actually he died, Thanos rewound time, and killed him again. So actually, we've said goodbye to him three times now. Just make your mind up with this character. Do you want him dead or alive? <laughs> but nonetheless, the show wraps up, Wanda leaves the town alone, the hex is gone, and normality has returned. We get a mid credit stinger where Monica Rambo, who we do get to see some powers from her in the episode, and that was a cool moment. I did enjoy that. It might have been a little bit cliche, but I did enjoy it. She gets called in to speak with her sort of superiors, and they turn into a scroll and say they want you upstairs which I'm assuming she's going to go up into the spaceship with the scrolls, maybe meet up with Captain Marvel again. Possibly, in time, we'll see what comes of that. And then another stinger shows that Wanda seems to be just out in the woods somewhere, in a cabin, just, you know, grieving, finding herself, getting herself back on her feet. But she's also, with her magic abilities, she's flicking through the Darkhold, which is the magic book that Agnes had. So she's brushing up on her skills, she's learning... But then you hear the scream of the children saying, like, help. And she seems to shoot off, which confused me again, because I thought the children were dead, like they were a part of this hex reality, but apparently not. Looking at the series as a whole, it was good and it was enjoyable, but the pacing and the writing is definitely not Marvel's slash Disney's strongest work. It could have been written tidier and neater with bigger moments and bigger reveals and bigger sort of shocks and revelations. And they also could have not been so time-wasting and pedestrian with stupid stuff that just really, looking back, served no purpose at all. The adverts were cool. I actually, I hated them to start. And actually, as they started to show some relevance and what they were actually trying to say, I started to like them more. I still look at some of them and go, no idea what you were trying to say with that one. For example, the watch one in the first episode. No idea what that was about beyond just sort of pointing out, hey, look, Hydra. Yeah, we know. Whereas as they, the show went on, things like the Nexus Depression and things like that, that was cool. I, I liked that I was having to pay attention to these things for deeper information to give me clues. I liked that. I'm intrigued to see what happens now with Wanda as a character. I would almost say I'm more intrigued now than I was before the show started. So kind of a compliment to the show I just you know I, I don't necessarily want to wait to find out I kind of wanted the show to tell me and like now I should be sat happily with the information but it's not necessarily the case so I'm going to give the final episode of WandaVision a 7 out of 10 and I'm going to give the series as a whole an 8 out of 10 like I say still enjoyable if you're a fan of Marvel you will find enjoyment out of it but it's not the best thing they've ever done and I don't think you're being rude or, you know, brattish by any chance by being disappointed by it. I think there is 
you know, it's definitely not Marvel Disney's strongest work, but enjoyable. To say the least, it's enjoyable. So give it a go. See what you think. Even if you're not a big Marvel Disney fan, give it a go. You might like the mystery, the uncertainty of what's happening. You will not enjoy it if you watch my episodes because I've hopefully explained everything that's happening. So hopefully you're going in with fresh eyes and just going in to try something out. I think that might be a good show for that. Thanks for watching this review. If you could leave a like, comment and subscribe, let me know what you thought of the show and I will see you on the next one.